Hey, Gemini. Ooh, already starting to pop out. All right. So before we begin, uh, happy Virgo season. And also things are going to be set up a little differently. The second part, we'll look at the cards, but we'll also go into more of an extended version of it where I pull more cards, um, almost a whole deck depending on what's needed, you know, intuitive style. And I'm using something that helps me, a spread that helps me read a little bit more, even more intuitively and even more in depth, even though it's a general. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so Virgo season, your fellow sign ruled by Mercury, a little slower, but builds what it needs to build. Not slower mentally, just physically, but it's necessary. You know that. You may have come into this month easeful transition. Not so hard, feeling good, feeling uh, capable, especially of how you're handling yourself in general. And then there's a halt and Virgo season's like, I need you to take a look at the structure of your life. I need you to um, do it now because I just need it. And you're like, okay, but can it be a little bit easier? Can it be a little bit more of a not so heavy or harsh way to look at things or a way that you're not gonna be more maybe critical with yourself and, um, I think what you come to realize is how much you appreciate the hard work that you may have put in. For some of you, you may feel really great. However, it's not the right time to force anything. Um, you also might be very fertile this month. <laughs> you might have a lot of ideas too. So in the beginning of the month, regardless of how you feel in terms of how you're able, you go from capable to, oh my God, there's so much to do. I now see every detail, every crack, everything about yourself, about what you've built, about the way you look, see yourself or about the way other people see yourself and you want to attack it right away. It's like when something feels off, you want to just change it right away. But that the most important thing is to remember that this may just be a fleeting feeling. This may be just something that's passing through you at this moment for you to acknowledge because Virgo season is going to be different for everybody as is every season but there's a common thread i would hold off on making any crazy decisions until the end of, towards the end of the month you may find that you have you start to have really amazing ideas things that could generate a lot of abundance prosperity in a way where you're not going to have to do a lot of work where you're going to be able to re like sit back and realize like, yeah, you do the work, but there's also other things. And the more that you adjust internally this month, I think that's the key for you. It's not a lot of external. I think last month was a little bit more external for you, but this month is an internal structure and it will balance out. It will make sense. So you'll start to see it externally. Maybe you're not looking at the cracks so crit critically anymore. Maybe the cracks become molded just by you addressing something that's important to address internally with the two of swords to the page of swords. Maybe you realize that it's not that harsh and you decide to take a lighter perspective upon whatever it is that feels not as light and airy. Whatever it is, though, it's important to address it because there is um, a lot of mental clarity that comes from it, a lot of ease that comes from it, a lot of under like you taking control of maybe you realize where you don't have control over something that's actually important for you to have control over, important for you to be the one holding the hand or saying the thing to everybody. You might have some really good news for people, but you need them to hear it. You may have to say, but you also, I just think this is something very important. It's something that you have personally felt. Um, it's funny, I just told Sagittarius this too, is that um, I could relate this to my Virgo moon, but just as someone who I don't advise or give advice to people about something that has not worked for me and that I've never done before. So 
that's just my always advice for anybody, regardless if you're someone who, but if you know something, you've been studying something, that's a different story. But I think it's important to, it's not even about passion. It's about giving information that's real and your experience with it doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody else, but it's important to acknowledge. So you may be, feel because you may come to this clarity in your head and your mind and you may feel outspoken about what you're saying, but just remember maybe who you're talking to. You might be talking, to, you might, they might hear you, this person or people, however, they not, might not be at the same pace or on the same page as you. So whatever you're saying doesn't necessarily always add up with them and it's important not to take that personally uh, however I know that it could be very easy to because it could make you feel like well this is what I do this is how I share this is what I want and yet you're getting maybe not the information you need or you're getting maybe a little bit more wrapped up like you were in the beginning of the month however it's helping you realize something you didn't see before and the advice here as always is to not take it personally do what you got to do say what you have to say and then let it be it's not up to you how someone reacts and that's a big one to learn it's not up to someone how to how someone responds to you it's not on you the heart <laughs> the heart the tower in the heart is probably most likely something that really opens up for you you may find that you're receiving more and you're giving more and there's this influx of giving and receiving and giving and receiving and this ability to go back and forth, whether it's with a Sagittarius or not, it's with yourself. Again, that King of Cups showing up and then the Temperance here. Um, going back to this King of Cups too, that it could be uh, your partner too. It could be something's going on with them and you need to maybe step up a little bit and remind them and show them maybe who you are, not to prove anything, but there's something that's going on there um, that could potentially be going on there, I should say. And then again, we have the heart, heart opening. You understanding this conversation that's going on um, in your heart, you being able to relate it more. Maybe you actually, not that you never find words because you can, but there's more, the words that come out are from the heart. They're from a place of this changed, something changed within me drastically and now I want to put it forward. First, put it in your life. See how it looks in your life and I think that you'll find that it's a beautiful thing because it gives you strength. It gives you strength from any shortcomings from before. It gives you strength to have faith and realize that this is actually healing a part of you that you can't explain, that some people could be lucky to go through in this lifetime. However, you're getting assistance here. Last month showed you something really important and you're now, it's now being put into action into a certain way. It's giving you the fruits and it's showing you maybe where you've maybe been too hard on yourself and where that's actually maybe where you need to be kinder to yourself and that, you know, that balancing act that happens there and then you're able to do it. And it's really important because you, again, may say something because you're feeling so great out of nowhere, but the person on the other end doesn't receive it very well. Or you hear something while having this mental clarity all of a sudden wants to take you out of it. But you, you have to remind yourself that you have the control, that you have to take that control back by saying, you can say, okay, I understand whatever situation it is, but it's important for you again this month not to take it personally. And I think the more that you do that, the more that you feel or have this greater sense of yourself that you're able to even give more of what you're really good at but it's also in turn strengthens maybe parts of you that you've been wanting to strengthen and it seems like you have because some kind of communication, whether it was in your spiritual life or in 
something you had good faith in or something you had the utmost um yeah good faith in and wanting to do better didn't turn out exactly as you planned but something better of course is always around the corner what you can now choose to do is take that power back and not doubt where you're at in your life where that giving and receiving is what you do to remind yourself at this time whether it's specifically from you or someone in your life who is very important to you or maybe you realize you doubt yourself you've doubted yourself because of a over um demanding figure and you realize that that's no way to be i don't know i just shuffle i just usually pull from the bottom but this is probably why we had the page at the bottom before and now it's the queen and i just did that so you're finding yourself deeply connected to your worth this month by having these vulnerable moments with yourself with the people intimately around you with the part of you that you may want to change yet doesn't change right away with what you've created up in the till this point for the past like six to eight years um this development and continuous development with the universe and the space around you maybe again your spiritual con connection with your creation and last month solidified something that allowed something within you and is allowing something within you to heal even if it hurt sometimes unfortunately we feel the pain before we feel the ease and i think that's in most cases sorry there's like a hair over here um that's bothering me so that's pretty much it but the commitment to relaxing being with yourself and yet not allowing anyone else's opinions or ideas or your old ways of thinking to distract you from what you know and to be true about yourself about what you want about what's important to you you may find that if you address things slightly different with yourself and commit to that the way that changes in life around you is can be huge um of course not always in the way we like to hear things however there's always something to learn isn't there gemini all right so again all information to work with me is below the second part and extended to this reading will be in a link below as well as my podcast. I'll see you next month.